Sinisa Estrada versus Leoneda Utica and betting pick. Las Vegas, Nevada will be the city to host an exciting clash. However, this time the venue will be the Palms, where we sit to witness the WBC and WBA World Females Strawweight title on the line. The event we are looking at has nine matches on their way and will be headlined by Sinisa Estrada and Leoneda Utica. This fight should have all the fans on the edge of their seats. As we know, Estrada has the record for the fastest knockout in female boxing history, so we won't want to miss a single moment. These two fighters are coming with only 10 rounds of two minutes to get things done, so we expect them to go lightning fast once the bell rings. It will take place on Friday, July 28th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ring walks are estimated 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can watch it on ESPN+. You ask why you should bet on Sinisa Estrada? Estrada turned pro in 2011 and fought exclusively out of her home state of California. Superbad won the interim WBA flyweight title by defeating Marlene Esparza in 2019 and the WBA minimum title from Annabelle Ortiz in 2021. In her last bout in March, she beat Tina Ruprecht to win the WBC and ring titles. The 30-year-old is in the record books for the fastest knockout of women's boxing history. This is thanks to taking out Miranda Atkins in seven seconds. Others ask why you should bet on Leoneda Utica. Utica turned pro in 2012. The Argentine beat Gabriela Povier in 2014 and IBF flyweight championship, successfully defending the belt eight times. She lost the title against Aureli Musinho in October 2022, ending an eight-year reign. The 34-year-old rebounded in her last bout with a split decision win over Tamara DeMarco in April. What's the final betting analysis? Sinisa is going to bring her A-game into this match. And as much as we like a competitive contest in the ring, we don't expect Utica to be able to handle her opponent in this fight. We expect Estrada to make a statement in this fight and set up a fight with the unified champion, Yokasi Valle. All right, guys, well, it is fight week. Let us know who you guys got, Sinisa Estrada or Leoneda Utica. And what round do you think it's going to end in? Amir Khan has announced that he is set to return to the ring against one of boxing's biggest names following his retirement from professional fighting in May of last year. Khan put a full stop on the world title winning career with a bout against his long-term rival, Kel Brook. Unfortunately for the Bolton men, his best days were behind him and Brook stopped him in the sixth. Both men would go on to hang up their gloves, whilst Brook has teased a return to the pro game. Khan has been more settled in retirement. He has not, however, ruled out an exhibition. In the time since, he has revealed that he failed a post-fight doping test on the night of the Brook loss and was subsequently banned from all sports for two years, ending on April 5th. Khan has protested his innocence and an independent panel accepted the argument that he had not intentionally ingested the substance. Whatever ban he's currently serving seemingly won't affect an exhibition as at this weekend's Disrupt Promotion show in Dubai, he announced he will be stepping through the ropes one more time. Khan said, I think there's going to be a massive announcement in the week or so. I might be coming back in the ring again. I might be fighting again. It's not going to be a small fight. It'll be like a super fight as well. The deal was that big. I couldn't turn it down. So that's why. I'll get myself back in the gym again, train again. It'll be a massive fight. We've kept it very quiet at the moment. I can't announce anything just yet, but it's one of the biggest names in boxing who I'll be in the ring with. This fight was talked about so many times before. Dubai, in my opinion, they've made it happen. We are 99% there. Agreements have been signed from both parties. And I think this weekend, hopefully the opponent, I don't know if I should call him opponent or if I should call him champion as well. They will be flying into Dubai and hopefully will be doing a conference to announce it. Long time Mayweather rival Manny Pacquiao has also been involved in some entertaining contests and recently announced one with the Thai boxer Ban Chemek in early 2024. Should Khan's plans come off, fans will know more in the coming weeks. We actually also heard that it was going to be Manny Pacquiao that he is going to fight. So let us know in the comments below if you guys are eager to see Amir Khan versus Manny Pacquiao. All right, we'll take care. Thanks from J and C of Sportbox TV. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the vid. Let's effing go.